What's going on guys? Mike here, back at South Coast Wind Academy. Today we have something a little bit different on our welding channel today. Today we're going to do a home project. Basically today we have my razor here and there's a situation with my trailer. It doesn't fit, so it's scratching up my rims and everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop this back off so it can fit correctly. Now let's get to it. guys so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the lights we're gonna pull the wires so we can go ahead and cut this and get to cutting this back framing off because we don't want to damage up the lights because we need those okay all right guys so we went ahead and removed the license plates and the lights from the trailer on both sides the right and left side now what we're gonna do is we're going to chop the unnecessary metal that we need cut everything back so we can have a perfect fit for our razor let's get to it All right guys, so we went ahead and got the brackets back off so we can replace our lights, our license plates, and rerun all our wiring. So let's get to that. We're gonna tack it up where the bracings are already placed on the trailer. From there, we're gonna go ahead and weld it on, apply our lights back on, and rewire everything. So let's get to it. All right, so we went ahead and backed the trailer up into the weld tube set uh, to get it next to our machine so we can go ahead and prep up, tack it, and go ahead and weld it on out. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and tack it up. And then now we're going to weld it out so it stays on there. All right guys, there you have it. We chopped off the back, we applied the brackets again for our lights and license plates. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall our lights onto the trailer so I can go ahead and make it home with the razor. Yeah, have a good one. All right guys, so we're installing the lights and um, one good thing about this is uh, if you know how to weld MIG, the reason why I say MIG is because it's a quicker process and it's cleaner and easier. Check out our playlist right here for any uh, MIG tips and tricks. When I'm not welding, I love to go muddy. And another thing is, if y'all like going muddy, feel free to follow my uh, Instagram page for my mud group. We're always out there in Crosby, Texas at Extreme Off-Road Park and Beach. See ya.